From next patch, uh, Little Mac gets all the buffs. Maybe you get another buff, and that is making making Terry stage legal. Nah, <laughs> nah. I'm, I'm like Terry stage is like really cool. It's it's a different stage, you know. But definitely, I, no one would be really interesting. Uh, Terry stage, but in stamina. Yeah. Like like as a side event, you know. I feel like that's exactly what Z Fly was saying. Yeah, oh my as god. A side event. That that that'd be a really fun side event. Just just a stamina mode side event. Because I mean, we have the option to play it. You know, why not? Terry versus Chrome seems hard for Terry. I mean, just look at that sword. Up just, air, up yeah. air, forward air. Just like, it's a wall of pain right there. So, you know what, Terry, I feel like once he gets in, he's very much like Smash 4 Ryu in the sense that, like, if he gets in, he can crank out a stupid amount of damage and kill you stupid early. But, yeah, that's the other thing. You can't... He has like no air or no like specials that like snap ledge. Yeah. So up B doesn't snap ledge, side B doesn't snap ledge, uh, backwards side B doesn't snap ledge either. Well, yeah. In this matchup, like, Calm has a lot he can do to to uh, Terry while he's trying to recover, but Terry can't really do that much. Even though, yo, know, uh, Calm's recovery is not very good. It protects itself well enough with those hitboxes, and Terry doesn't have really have any moves that are like strong. He needs to get up to over a hundred, and then he can use some of those special so like, moves. The, the power. Yeah. I can see Power Wave being a really good uh, edge guarding tool, especially against Tom, just because of how big that hitbox is. Yeah, it seems like in this matchup you really need to hold on your stocks after a hundred, so you have access to those, and then maybe you can edge guard Tom like way easier. I mean, definitely in this matchup, it's just. Oh, look, look at that! Like you saw him like oh, trying he's got to his jump. Yeah, like you saw him. He tried to grab the ledge, and then was just like, "I'm sorry. Did, did you think you could actually grab the ledge?" And I feel like that's the the downs. I feel like Terry has like Smash Four Mac recovery syndrome, where like he ha he can recover, except like it doesn't snap ledge. So then like it's really easy to get him. Yeah. And once you get gimped, like, that's how you lose your stocks as Terry, you know? Yeah, I guess and even in this game, Mac and Terry are similar in that they have options off stage, but they're not very good. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, at least, like, Terry has, like, mix-ups, you know? Like, the he can he can uh, backwards side B and then, like, I don't know if he can backwards side B into forward side B and then, and then use the up B. Because I know he can do well, one or the other and then up B, but I don't know if he can do both is the question. I would assume he would be able to boot, do both, but yet again, no, 129%. So I feel like with Terry, you have to be able to know how to cancel and how to do all the true inputs, you know? And oh, yeah. yet again, like, that move is so strong. Holy crap, he was at 45. I mean, it does like 30%. And yet again, just throw, oh, yeah, he, he won from the B just to finish him off with that last power geyser. Yeah, that, that power geyser at the ledge can cover it, right? and uh, and I mean get he just he just let it rip. I mean, when you have a move that you can just spam endlessly when you're at a high enough percent, like why not go for it? Yeah, I mean it, it's such a strong move. I think it's got a, la a lot of lag on it, but uh, roast beef really hasn't caught on to you know how to punish it yet. Or I mean, it's definitely one of those things where like kind of want to throw it almost like as an anti-air, you know? And in terms of anti-airs, like, ooh, -wee, that's a really big anti-air to contend with. And, oh my god, he's got him off stage! Oh! No! Yo! <laughs> that was right when it counted, man. Oh my god. Terry's going to be doing that to people Dude. all the time. We're going to see comebacks like that. Oh my god. I mean, with the rage, too. Yeah, with the rage. Dude, oh, canceling. No. I mean, his jab is frame three. Meaning he has a frame three kill confirm at like yeah. 70. Yeah. Maybe like 60 at ledge, but like, dang. Dang, Terry, you 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 a strong boy. You, that's why I'm saying, like, he's Smash 4 Ryu, because he just hits you once and you die at 60. He's Smash Ryu for Ryu, but he's also like Lucario too, where he gets super hyper sense, and then he just destroys you. I feel like that's not entirely accurate because like with Lucario, Lucario is just bad at low percents, you know? Yeah, that's true. You know? And like Terry, Terry still has things, he still has combos, he still has his auto cancels, he still has his uh 
uh, special cancels. And you know what? Like, look at that. Like, the thing is, though, I think we're going to see players who are good with this character just plow through stocks when they get up to 100. I mean, the name of the game is get the game, you know? Definitely. You need to get this character off stage. Right? So you can do some serious damage. So we have the Roy counter pick here. Um, I'm trying to think why that would be a better pick against this character. Um, I mean, maybe just like the stronger hitboxes when you're like your boxing queen close. But yeah, I mean, I feel I feel like his prom was doing much better just because. Oh wow, that, that killed. Okay. Wow, that must have been the true input there. Like, or maybe like the 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 boosted like when you you, you charge it with the, the down. Yeah, I didn't and then you go pretty up Because like it doesn't charge have it, it doesn't have like a true input like uh like Hodoke. Oh, he still made it back. Right. Okay, then yeah, this is terrifying against the character. When you're behind uh, a stock, he just has so much momentum. So it's so important that Rose Beef got that stock there. I mean I feel like Terry really excels at, you know, getting those single hits and then converting like a jab or an air or a fair into like 30 to 40 percent. And then he does that like two to three times during the set, and then all he needs is that like one kill confirm. Yeah, it's exactly like Ken and Ryu. Once they get it on you, they do huge damage. You can only let them in maybe three or four times, uh, like a competent one, and you're just you're gonna die. The up air and here's the jiggle situation, but no, uh, landing aggressively with that there. And yet again, there's that uh, Buster Wolf. You know, Buster Wolf is. I mean, hold on. Is, I know Buster Wolf, there's like that, that's the side B, but is like the. I'm, I'm trying to think that's if it has like a different name, because I know the, the super charged one is Buster Wolf, you know, but I'm wondering if like the regular one is the Buster Wolf as well. I think it has a different name. I think I, 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 I oh, looked up all the names of these moves beforehand, but yeah. I forgot them immediately. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I really think you should have stuck with Prom there. I mean, I feel like if you're, if you have a counter, mm -hmm. just just throw it out at the ledge, and like if they, like don't auto snap it, and you hit the counter, then like you get a free kill basically. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah.